Hey YouTube, Auto here. So I'm showing you this because I want you guys to understand that in the previous Javelin that was built several seasons ago, we were able to put, I can still put large cannons in the bottom. We can't put them in the top. So this one is going to be all medium cannons. Even in the bottom, I'm gonna put mediums. But what I wanted to show you guys is in the earliest season, the medium cannons didn't fire up as far because we used to be able to put the armor down low. If you come over here. Right here, we used to be able to put this armor all the way across here at this level, okay? Um, right here at this level. We used to be able to put it across here and it wouldn't hit because I ran one of my very first brick builds ever in this game used very boring straight all the way across the armor it looked like a long cigar tube but the mediums would shoot out no problem I believe that changed when they they made it so that the large cannons would go down here they they altered what happened with the mediums in some way because now the mediums hit when I put this armor across here at this level they hit so now we have to raise the armor but here's the thing that there's a difference between the large and the mediums you notice how I have this here angled in right under right over top of this rear gun port I have to do that with the medium because if I don't um, this technically with the medium this armor could go all the way across at this height but with the larges, you have to use this piece, this triangle piece, right here where it's at. And you know it's right because you see this seam right here? It's coming off on the far left-hand side of this gun port. That's how you know it's right. If you try to move this over here one piece more, and you put a large cannon down here, it won't work. Okay, the large cannons actually take up more room. They're... they're like the circle that comes out of the cannon and fires is bigger than the medium and so if you try to move this this triangle over one it will clip the medium and when you fire your, your I'm sorry not the medium the large and when you fire your large cannons it will clip this piece right here okay you're essentially shooting your own ship and so that's why the armor has to be created as an exact way However, with the mediums, you don't have to do that. That's actually what I just realized over here. This piece here would normally have to be right here with larges. Okay, it would normally have to be done like this. Right there. I would normally have to barely, barely, barely miss this piece um, with the larges. And it's because if you look at the ship the ship is not straight down the sides notice it puffs out the most in the middle and then it curves in some in the rear and then it curves here in the front well what happens is is these middle four one two three four when you're using large cannons they can all fire with the armor at this height no problem Okay, but if you try to put this straight across here over this gun port and over this gun port the rear one and the front one because of the curve of the ship they both hit with large cannons and so you have to counter that and that's why this armor this side armor that's raised if you notice on all the new ones all the new ship builds I do with the large cannons down here in the bottom the side armor is built an exact way so what I noticed is on this medium the mediums actually give you more room so now you can be heck in reality you don't even really need that I can change this but for the sake of this build I'm gonna leave that um, I will tinker with changing the shape a little bit more later um, for the sake of the medium build Okay, um, we're going to leave that. On this build, it's going to be all medium cannons. Uh, I'm not going to mess around with the larges. If you guys are looking for a large build, and by that I mean large down here and mediums on the upper deck, uh, just give me a shout in the comments, and I will rebuild it 
uh, so that it is large cannon friendly. Um, I've already changed this here to not be large cannon friendly, and this here is, but that up front isn't. Uh, so let's see what else we can do with this.
Okay, now that that's a bit far fetched. So I'm gonna end up changing that because what's a galleon got on it? What twenty six medium cannons or something on each side? That's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. That's 18, plus 6 across the bottom. That's 24 medium cannons on one side. Uh, but that's not what we're looking for. We're trying to... I'm, I'm aiming for 12. So what we're going to do is alter this. Uh, yeah, we're going to try that right there. Bring it into... Now we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 6 is 20. Um, so what we end up with is... Obviously, there's some crazy flexibility here. Uh, I don't know about piece counts yet. I haven't gotten there, and I'm not sure about weights. Although, weight really shouldn't be a problem because we're not using large cannons, and we all know that large cannons weigh a ton. They actually weigh a ridiculous amount compared to the mediums. Right now, that's part of the balance the game needs. The large cannons are still way overweighted, and their cannonballs are, like, way, way, way overweighted. They do the smidgen more damage, and their weight is, like, a crazy amount per cannonball. So, anyhow, they still got to fix that. But, um, we should be okay with weight, no matter what we decide to do over here. I just don't know about piece counts, um, because... Because we're usually using heavy, heavy cannons in the bottom and heavy cannonballs, and they weigh, like, a crazy amount. It's so broken, but, um... Alright, so that's what we're running with. And that means this is gone. And so, guys, I'm, I'm just showing this to you so that... For those of you that understand what I'm saying, I know some of you guys, you don't understand what I'm saying when I'm talking in some of these videos because I get uh, messages back on Discord and YouTube and stuff that you guys are telling me that, you know, it didn't quite make sense. But um, you can shift this. This is your side broadside. Okay, we're going to leave the six in the bottom. We're leaving those there for extra firepower because they're easy to use. If you guys don't want the six, okay, across each side, you can gut that entire level of the ship. You can remove this whole floor and go down to the bottom floor. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, all of a sudden, you have tons of room for tanners and um, uh, forges and those bigger, those bigger items that you can't fit normally in these. You can also fit... Um, I believe you can fit, what is that, one, two, yeah, it's too tall. So you can fit Thames like crazy in the bottom of this thing um, if you remove this center deck. And so I've run several, a lot of times my cargo brigs will run without this middle deck. Um, so yeah, that's an option for you guys if you don't want these lower ones. And the reality is, guys, you don't have to have them. You could remove these leaks right here, gut that inner, that center right pull that floor out and then throw those six up here now how do you do that you extend it you put this back you pop this over one and instead of it coming up right here it comes up right here like I just deleted that part I just deleted and over here you can extend this so that's two more each spot you can get two medium cannons okay so and every five one two three four five if you keep them tight, you can fit one more extra medium cannon in there because you get up enough room for that. So that's 10, that's 11. You can put 11 medium cannons in every five blocks. So, um... And what we're going to do on this build, we're going to keep the middle deck, okay, because I'm essentially building the javelin with medium cannons. We know the javelin had 10 cannons across the sides, right? Everybody loves that heavy firepower. And so we'll keep that, and we'll keep this. Uh, although on the javelin, I believe, I believe this was omitted. 
Was it omitted? I think it was omitted. Let's take a peek and look. Let's go over here. Hey, no problem, Alex. I'm working on it right now, buddy. Okay, so let's jump to here. 146. Alright. I don't think this, the original Javelin, had lower guns. Yeah, you see how low they are there? And we come in here, running through the ship. Yeah, see the whole bottom deck is gutted. It's not there. Okay, so that's all we needed to see. Um, so on the original Javelin, okay, well, I'm trying to stay true to the original Javelin, so this is gone. Alright, so we're going to pull these out. There we go. We're trying to stay true to the original Jav, so we are going to pull that out. And we are only looking... I'm going to put 12 across the sides here, guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 14. We have one too many. So what we're going to do is... Um, do we need more room in the front or more room in the back? This is going to be a preferential thing, guys. Um, I'm changing this a hair. Um... The original javelin wasn't built this way, but I have gotten, I've done, a f I've learned a few things I can do with it that I actually like better, um, including the only reason we needed to raise the armor, guys, was because of these gun ports. We just took those gun ports out, so we don't need this. We can pull all the raised armor off. We don't need it, which makes this these sides easier to work with. Okay, so we're going to do this right here. I think that's right. We'll find out here in a minute. Oh, that's wrong. Actually, I think this piece is wrong. I think we're supposed to be like this. Yeah, because this is the piece that lines up. This is the piece. It's the last piece right before we line up with that floor. So I think this is the right spot for this. We do that. We do that. And then we go one, two, three. And the fourth one is that. Yep, I believe that's right. And we don't have this other side built up yet. So we're just going to jump across. There we are. put that there like so one two three and the fourth one is the nose there it is and there goes that piece all right two, three and now we just build all the way across here these four in. I usually drop these first, but this time I didn't. It's just the way it's gone. Okay. And if you don't like this, guys, you know you can change it. Some of you guys have been watching these videos long enough. You got some of those parts up there in the front memorized. See, sometimes if I'm going to use it for a battering, like if I'm going to use it to ram, I do that. <laughs> just so it looks like it was made for ramming. <laughs> That's just me. Okay, let's keep going. Alright, let's go back over here. And... Alright, now what do we do here? This is what we do here. We give it a, fla a flare out. Give it a little style. We can also do that here. If you want to go double there, 
so that the whole thing flares twice just for a little style you can do that I've I've I have whole other designs I've not shown you guys yet on how to style these things out more I've just not putting them out there yet um, other stuff has me busy so let's see what else we can do boys All right, let's do that. actually I yeah 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 let's do this let's just do it Okay, now, this was actually different than this. Um, let's start popping a few of these pieces out. There we go. Because remember, we used to shoot. We shot the cannons from the bottom deck right up over the rail and out. And that that's what gave the javelin a 16 cannon front end. You guys remember that? It had 16 cannons in the front because one of them, the whole, one of the lower row was recessed down in the in the deck and it would shoot up out at an angle that's how we cleared that so we'll see what we can do with that but let's get these sides done first okay we're just gonna we're gonna start here and we're gonna go actually you know what maybe we'll do here instead let's try it right here come on get on there come on it's being difficult That's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. That's exactly what we want. Okay, now look at where it's coming off the side of the ship. Okay, pay attention to where you're putting it. If you don't want it there and you want to move it forward, move it forward. You know, it's on you. Um, but I'm going to put it there. Um, I think that's a good spot. To put the side broad, the side broadside, uh, this side's broadside. It's pretty much right over top of the bulk of the others, minus this gun port. That works. Okay. Two, three, four. We're just gonna fill these in because we know these get filled in. And I got an idea. I just got another idea. Put this floor down. Some of these things I built for you guys, I've built them so many times and they always come out different because I get so many ideas when I'm building these. It's okay. This is the idea, part of the idea, not all the ideas. Oh, it's being difficult again. There we go. Come on, get down there. Okay. See, we want a little bit of a, we want an outer walking deck. So if the boys got to run around outside the deck, they can. Or outside the the gun deck. You see, we're going to make this whole row right here a walking area. At least some something like that. We'll 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 change it as we get there. So now you can walk outside the broadside. Um, let's pull that Six. That's three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I actually went. You guys know the original um, javelin had six. I'm sorry, had five. Five doubles or ten. It had ten. Um, ten total large cannons off each side. And this one. We modified it. We bumped it to 12 because we're going to medium cannons instead of large. And we all know large cannons do a little bit. What is it, like 15, 20% more damage? I'd have to check it. It's been a little while since I've checked it. But, uh, yeah, it's something like that. So, ha, ha, ha. See, this is what I was thinking. Right there. And now we're going to put that there, but we're going to do this. Okay, and, and I don't know if this is going to work, guys, you know? Um, oh, my little guy woke up. 
Okay, I don't know if this is going to work with the peace counts. It might work fine, but it might not. We'll find out. But I like those doors being there. Because then you have easy in and out. And I like that. Um, ooh, maybe we should do that instead. Yeah, let's do that instead. I just had another... Another idea. Let's put that door there. Let's put that door there. And you know what? Let's let's try to save a few of the pieces, right? We'll save a little bit on the piece count. I said we were going to be able to walk on that, but we can't. Not if I put that like that, but I think that's how I want to put it. We might not even need all these pieces. Well, it doesn't matter. If I put a floor here, one, two, or two ramps, one, two, the piece count's the same. It's just styling at that point. Um, but this should be going here like this. Yeah, that should be there like that. Because that's how they're done. Okay, maybe we don't... I mean, we can still walk on the front. Um, you know, we can still walk on the front. So we can repair. They're easier to repair when you have that walking area right there in front. So now you're not hanging out over the water trying to repair. You're actually standing on the ship, standing in front of your guns, repairing them. So that works. That's how that side's going to go. Let's put this side together. Alright, we're getting there. Alright. And now we put that there. And this... And I don't even know what this is going to look like, guys. This might not work well, but we'll see. Let's find out. Let's open it. And open it. <laughs> and now we can go like this in here. There. And the doors aren't on the sides where they get hammered like crazy from fighting. Oh, can I get up? Yeah, get up. There we go. There we go. Alright. Um, yeah. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay, let's drop some cannons in here. And let's see how good we are at keeping these things straight. Two, three, four. That's not gonna work. We got four. I like to do this. Let's just do this. Then I can take that stack and put it there. How did I keep it straight? I set up the F1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 bar across the bottom of the screen with that board. I set it parallel with that board line that you can see that groove there in the deck. So that's 2, 3, or 2, sorry, 3,
told you. Okay, so maybe we can't fit one extra across five. Maybe it takes one, two, three, four, five, six. It takes six to get an extra, uh, not five. So, But we got 13 in there. That works for me. <laughs> that means we have a Galleon's broadside sitting on the deck of this. I can't remember if Galleon's are 22 or 26, but I'm thinking it's 26. So there's 13. Let's do the same, start in the front. And when I was doing that, I was checking my distance on the top of my F bar down there in the bottom and the line right there on the deck. I was also checking these tabs right here, right there, those tabs, making sure everything was lining up as I was dropping those. So there it is, 13 down each side, guys. Um, and I could have split them up. You know, we could have put this, we could have done this a lot of different ways. I'm not even going to go into all the theory crafting on it. But uh, that's what we ended up with. Um, the question now is... We have eight across the back, which is exactly what the other javelin had. Um, we still have eight. This one, we got 13 down each side. Um, that's 26, and eight is 34. I'm thinking, guys, that maybe we should just put eight across the front on this and call it. Be like, okay, that's enough. Um, I know the other javelin had eight across the top and eight across the bottom row, but the other javelin didn't have 13 across the sides either. It had 10. So we got to remember piece counts and stuff like that. So, And when you guys set these up, I would set these up in banks. So... Like, I would set up half of the, the half in the front on, like, group five, and then, like, the half in the back on group six. So five and six are down the right, and then seven, seven, and then eight across the other side. That way you're not firing all 13 when you don't need to. If a ship is already heavily damaged and all you need to do is tap it, you don't need to fire 13 cannonballs. You can fire, like, five or six and finish it off. So you're not wasting supplies out there. So set up your banks, you know, how you guys like. But that's how I do it. Um, I pretty much set up the front and the rear on the front and the rear. But if that's not how you want to do it, you know, you guys could set up a bank on the right in the rear and a bank on the left in the rear. You could do the same in the front. You could have the front right bank and then the front left bank. It's totally up to you. Okay, so how do we want to do this? I'm thinking that that is probably where I'm going to put I think that's where I'm going to put this. I'm going to pull these. And we're going to do that and that and then we're going to and then that lines up perfect off this side here, see? That's our that's our triangle. That's our first triangle piece right there. And so we know that this ends right there on the triangle. So we can do that right there. And this works because... Alright, let's 
pop that out, pop that out. I'm trying to use pieces that... I'm not trying to use more than we have to use because I am a little concerned about piece counts. Um, We're going to give ourselves a walking area, just like we did on the other one. And maybe that's exactly what we get right there, guys. Let's, let's see if it'll all fit. Okay, there we go. And let's put them in, I guess. This one I line up off the line here, and it's we don't have the parallel lines to run with on these sides, so we just got to see what we get here. We know we got to line up those tabs. Right there's the tabs. Let's see what we get. There's one, two, three, four, and then we'll come all the way over here. This is so they're centered. That's why I jumped to the far side after putting down half of them. Two. Three. Four. And then we can put that in as the divider. So now you have your left bank and your right bank. And then it's all in here. And we could get in here like this right here. And if you don't like that, guys, change it. I'm not even sure I'm thrilled with it, but it's still how it's down right now. Because there's no other way out, so this is like the one way in and out, so I, I might be changing that. I don't know if that's going to work. Uh, technically, we could run it all together. And maybe we should. Maybe we will. I think maybe we will. Let's just run it together. saved all those pieces. That's why I did that. Um, okay, so I'm not going to worry. Well, you know what? I probably should put the outer armor on. I should put it on so you guys can see it went on without running into a piece count problem. One, two, three, four. There we go. And let's pull these two. And I know I didn't paint the frame, but you guys can paint your frames whatever colors you want. You know how to do it. There's tons of other videos on my channel and other channels that shows you. If you guys have any questions about painting because you're new or on console or whatever, you know, just ask in the comments. I know when I first started, I had a lot of questions on painting. I could not finish, I could not figure out this paint sprayer for the life of me. It freaked me out, man. It took me like forever to get this paint sprayer right. And you wouldn't think it'd be that hard, right? It's just a paint sprayer. But they don't give you any instructions on how to use the thing. So it was like, I know you can change color. Like, you can change your areas that you're, that you're targeting with it. I just didn't know how to do it. Alright, there it is. She's all in. And we haven't run into piece count problems, guys. Um, and you can get in here in the front. 
And what I would recommend is, and you can do this a few different ways, guys, because if you notice, you still have, technically, you have this right here, right? Well, you could take this right here, and these were one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we have six blocks of cannons on the side. You could go three, and then the door, move this right here into the middle of these, put it here, and then move these over one. And then you go three, and then door, and then three. So you get a door down the center. Um, we have entrances right here. This is a double wide entrance. If you want it single, make it single. It's up to you. You want it PVP, so it's all closed off. All you got to do is uh, wall those in. Put doors on it. Um, that's what I do with mine. You already know the rear end secure. Um, and this is all regular height, so nobody can climb up underneath the armor and get in your ship. And we sealed off the front totally because we put that, we built that before we did the, the armor pieces. Um, just don't forget that if you lose one of these because it got blown off, you're going to have to pull the armor piece to replace it. I don't usually run with these, so if you want to run with them, run with them. If you don't, you don't have to. Um, it's an option. So these are actually actual pieces, extra pieces I don't usually use. <clears throat> but I kind of like it. It makes it look more stout in the front. So I'll run with it. Um, for now, I'm just going to leave the front entrance and the rear entrance. And I'm not going to worry about the rest. Okay, and now we have these. Because technically this isn't done yet. Um, I try to always give at least one spot for the guys. Even though this technically fits the crew, this spot right here fits the crew, I try to give at least one for the crew. So we'll do this. Right, and then we'll finish this off like that right there. And then we'll close this off. But, see there, you can climb up, you can walk in here under the armor. Do you see that? How do we fix that? We do that right there. Alright. Put that there. And it seals that off. Or covers that. But then we put this wall right there. Then right there. There it is. Now it's PvP worthy. Nobody can sneak in on your ship because it's all covered. Um, and what we didn't do is we didn't put sails down yet. I'm just going to throw three sails on here. You guys do whatever it is you want to do. For this one, she is a coastal defender. So she's not out there. She's not going to be out there speed racing around. Oh, look at that, guys. Actually, I'd like to... It's actually in the between, but I'm pretty sure if that cannon... I'm pretty sure if that cannon right there fires towards it, it's going to hit it. So we'll see what we're going to do with that. We'll find out. How's it obstruct? Oh, it's obstructed because these are in the way. I hate that you can't put a sail down just because you have a piece of floor in the way or something. that there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. It's saying it's obstructed. Let's see if we can get that obstruction out of the way. Might be that wall right there. There it is. But we can put the wall back, so it's all good. And you don't even have to put the wall there. But I put it there because sometimes you get people that like glitch through stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I don't like that, so okay, let's let's get this. Here we go. Up here and across here. See? Now there's no hole there. And there's two banks in the front and the rear. You get all that. You get all this room here, boys. And you can do whatever you want down here. I don't care what you do down here. You can do that right there. Or you can just do this right here. 
probably that right there. Um, because then you can put a door, put a hatch door on it. Oh, I didn't need that many. Oh, my little guy's getting upset. And there we go. And so let's name these. Let's name these so we can get these done real quick because my little guy's fussing. Um, smithy. Cabinet. Um, resource bin. Uh, here we have the mortar and piecel. Here we have the larder, food larder. Here we have the animal trough. Here we have the um, cook grill. Here we have a water barrel. Um, here we have a library uh, shelf. Um, what else we put? Let's put uh, two more um, cabinets around the, the, the wooden cabinets around. And just for kicks, let's see what we got here. This is all junks. These are extra pieces, guys. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I had eighteen more pieces, guys, to go, and everything else was down. I may have forgot one or two here, but you can see there was eighteen pieces there after all those others were down. So pieces is not a problem. Okay, you, the pieces are there. Uh, what am I doing? I'm trying to go through the wrong part of the floor. Okay. Yep, so pieces are not a problem, guys. Um, I did forget one. I forgot the ammo bin. Um, but it's in that 18 that I threw down. So you have lots of pieces available, guys. Um, oh, and you're going to burn some of those 18 around here, right, to make it secure? Because that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and maybe two across the back. Six, seven, eight. 9, 10, because maybe you put two doors. And so you still had seven pieces left, because one was for the ammo bin. There was 18. So you still have seven pieces left. Um, you put down your helm. That's uh, six pieces left. You put down your lieutenant's podium. That's five pieces left. Um, five pieces. But you're not... Okay, that's one, two, three, four. You literally have one piece left one piece guys so any of these spots in here maybe even in here that you don't need maybe you decide that um, to keep that but maybe you pop this out and maybe you pop this out so we just took out four but then we'll put that one in and then you put a ladder on here and so we saved two more pieces that left you with three pieces so it's a tight tight piece count guys um, because of all of this, but it all fits. Let's see what our weight's at. We're sitting at, well, that's probably, what is it, is it? It's 8,000 pounds. But the weight's going to change some because of all these pieces here. So, uh, but that's it. I mean, I know the other javelin was heavy too. Let's get out here. Let's come out here. Let's snap a picture for the... For the front of this video. Alright. There it is guys. Season 5 Javelin. And she has. 13. 13. 8. And 8. So that's 26. And 16. Is 34 and 8. That's 42 cannons guys. 42 cannons plus three sails plus a helm and a podium. So the three sails is three pieces, two for your podium and your helm. Um, I'm sorry, not pieces, that's crew. That's five plus 42 is 47 crew. Minus 16 equals 31 crew. You can put 31 crew on it if you're running a basic ship. You got 31 crew, and then you take those other 10 points and put them in resistance. And she's going to be running heavy, but she's going to obliterate ships of the dam. And she's going to be a coastal runner. She's running three uh, handling sails. So she can defend the coast. She can run in pack still, um, but she's not for carrying weight. If you guys want to save some weight, downsize your gun, save yourself some pieces.
Um, you could potentially knock off three off each side, and that would save six. You could take six less crew. So instead of 47 crew, you'd have 40 wood, um, which would help. You're going to gain more weight with all this crew, too. And you all know that the crew's expensive to run because of how much you got to pay every single one of them. Um, so, yeah, those are your options, and there's the Season 5. I'm going to call this the base base javelin, okay? I'm probably going to get some fancy stuff out of this later uh, when I rework it, but this is your pure medium base javelin. Like, subscribe, share, comment, keep it civil, and I'll see you in the next one.